Welcome to Theo Trade. This is Don Kaufman. It's March 5th, 2018. Allow me to start this evening's Theo Night video by simply stating these are the markets that traders live for. S&Ps today exploding to the upside. NASDAQ up almost 100 handles. You know, I often get labeled a bear because well, quite frankly, I've been bearish for quite some time. But what does it for me is just some outlandish kind of two-sided action in the markets. And that is precisely what we have seen now over the last month. Just to also reiterate that point, you know, most of the sell-side activity and the volatility really began February 5th. Here we are exactly one month later. And I have stated this time and again, listen, that cap or cork, if you will, off the volatility bottle, it's out and we are free to trade in a relatively large range. Now, to begin, again, we've got about 15 minutes left in the trading day. I want to reference for a moment what I had anticipated okay, being an up day. Now, again, I referenced that in this weekend's video. If you missed it, tune into the video because it actually describes a lot of what we expect throughout the course of this week. Nevertheless, I'll, I'll kind of reiterate and recap a couple of points. First of all, again, we expected out of the gate some bit of buy side activity, and that's precisely what we're seeing inside of today's trade. But more importantly than just talking about direction, because that's where everybody gets infatuated with. Oh, what is the next move going to be? What is the next move going to be? I'll tell you exactly. If you go look at the volatility futures, all right, if you look at the volatility futures, and this is kind of a fun one, take a look at the vol futures, for example, over the next 16 days versus, for example, the next 44 days, they're almost flat, okay, then go out a little bit further in time, because again, this speaks volumes of what trade expects right now. If you go out a little further in time in the volatility futures, here we have 72 days and 107 days and you know 135 days. Take a look at the number. They're almost exactly the same, which effectively states okay, that volatility right now is pretty much a straight line, which indicates people, everybody thinks we're going up or down. There's absolutely no bias being priced into the volatility in any way, shape or form. So, you know, when you're trying to look into like, all right, into the crystal ball over here. Well, the crystal ball right now is saying, yes, all it's simply stating is we're in the midst of volatility, you know, enjoy it while it lasts. Now, what are the kind of positions that you can take in the midst of some volatility like this? And I'm going to give you guys a couple of examples, you know, stocks that are getting absolutely pummeled and beaten down. I'll start with something like along the lines of Walmart because I put a position on today while live in the chat room. Again, first thing this morning, I put a trade on specifically in Walmart. Okay. Now I want to explain something about Walmart. First of all, it has fallen substantially from the 110 region, hit its earnings, drop like a rock, continue to see sell side activity and bounced. Did we know, all right, that, you know, either Friday or today was going to be a rather dramatic bounce. Absolutely, without unequivocation, no. You know, that's where, again, you know, everybody's trying to predict, if you will, the next move. And that's less important in volatility. I just want to explain, you know, exactly why that's less important. All I did is went out some 32 days and I used an in-out spread. Again, I didn't necessarily know that the bounce was coming today. But when you look at this, and again, I'm going to flip it to a year to date percentage. Okay. When you start looking at Walmart from the recent high to where it currently is, I mean, Hey, listen, you're looking at a 20% decline with little bounce whatsoever. And if you just want to quanti uh, quantify this from the earnings period, it still has fallen. Okay. Just about 12%. It's overdue for, uh, for a bit of a bounce. And that's precisely what we're seeing over here. But these kind of opportunities in the midst of this volatility is going to present itself each and every day. So I went out 32 days and I used an in-out spread. And I can show you what one looks like with where the stock is right now. But we would go out and I'll give you an example. It could buy the uh, 89.50 turnaround and maybe sell the 91.5 against it. And see the spread cost right around 97 bucks. All right. Why is this trade to do okay, even if your timing is off? 
Well, I don't know. I mean, listen, you got the next 32 days to be right, to laugh, to cry. In volatility, you're never going to catch a top. You're never going to catch a bottom. And that's where you just, you have to succumb to the idea that put a small amount of capital at risk. I'm not saying got to do one contract. Just put a small amount of capital at risk, okay? Take your shot in Walmart, but it's not just a shot, if you will, in Walmart. Then I'm going to go to another product because I want to show you how many opportunities are out there. So I tried to fill and did not fill on this XLE trade, and I'm, uh, I'll continue to try to execute this the next uh, couple of days, but a very similar situation of what I would term a beaten down underlying. Some of the recent volatility, this thing was up 6% year to date. Okay, as of like last Friday, it was down, you know, 10%. That's a pretty straight slide with some uh, kind of ugly channeling. All I needed to do was get a small pop to the upside. And again, I'm just going to try to use an in-out spread to not necessarily, like I don't want to call this bottom fishing, if you will, but I do want to indicate so I can go out and buy a, you know, a 67, 69 spread for right around a buck. I wouldn't pay more than a buck for this. And the slightest pop, okay, in XLE, and XLE, again, has just been decimated recently, the slightest pop to the upside, which is very much indicative of the kind of, you know, activity that we're seeing lately, but that pop to the upside is going to be more than enough to make me profitable on this in-out spread. So yeah, I'm showing a couple of bullish trades. Imagine that. The guy that's bearish is showing a couple of bullish trades. Now, again, I could, you know, you could shake a stick at the number of opportunities that are currently presenting themselves. But equally, at the same time that you're out there and you're like, okay, so he got bullish maybe in XLE, he got bullish over in you know Walmart, now what else he got? Well, you know, again, as I said, there's so many different opportunities. You can go into something like XHB, which is the home builders. And the home builders have a very similar situation where this is absolutely brutal. Now, I've got a position in here, and I've actually been riding this in a long duration bearish position. So I've been in a short position inside of XHB, but I'm the first to tell you, even though I'm long duration short, I actually caught bounces here, okay? Sold back off, and I'm gonna look for another bounce. And I think you can see XHB even pop back up into the 43 range before this is over. So even though it's up some 50, uh, you know, some 50 cents today, again, another bullish style position it could be placed using in out spread okay now on the contrarian side of it i got to go over to amazon right and you've got to look at amazon which is just off of its all time high and you better believe i've been fishing for you know bearish positions inside of amazon and you know it being a 1500 and you know 20 some odd dollar product it's intimidating. If you're not intimidated by Amazon, okay, you haven't traded very long. You should be intimidated by Amazon. You know, you could trade Amazon though, these $2 and 50 cent wide spreads, you know, for like a buck 30. And if you don't like a 250 wide spread, I don't know, widen it out. Okay. Ah, there you go. Maybe 235 here. Okay. Markets are still open. That's the great thing about markets filled. Okay. So I just placed a bit of a bearish spread inside of Amazon. And I'm telling you right now, do I even think that this is the top in Amazon? No. But I'll tell you something. I got the next 32 days to laugh, to cry, to see if that's going to be effective in there. And this is not something like, you know, I just went out and I did a $5 wide spread. Okay. That's it. I did a $5 wide spread. I filled it on the SIBO for $2.32. Okay. And again, quite frankly, I'm just going to duplicate the order. I don't know. Okay, where the top is going to be per se in this trade. So I'll go route another one. And then tomorrow, if it rallies more, I'll, I'll get a full allocation on. I'm not trying to average into the spread over here, but I'm just saying, you know, hey, listen, this is a small amount of risk for me. I am comfortable working a multitude of orders in Amazon to take that bearish position. And even though I may be wrong for a couple of days, you know, you can't sit there and time everything in the midst of volatility. So I'll kind of reiterate the stance of where I started here. People, this is the marketplace that, that you live for as a trader. You know, the same day that I'm taking bullish positions, I'm taking bearish positions, the markets are actually fluctuating back and forth. Even though the S&Ps a moment ago were up 36 handles, 
Look at this. As I said, there's, you know, there's still eight minutes left on the clock. If you don't like the weather, come outside in a couple of moments because uh, it's going to be quite different. But here's some sell side activity. Just taking us from this, again, 27, 28 handle and taking us down to the 22. You have to realize, okay, why we're excited. We were sitting here for days not seeing this kind of action. Literally days and days went by. We didn't see this much action. Now we're seeing it in the midst of of a four minute period. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Two-sided action is what makes trade and traders more effective. And I'm telling you, it doesn't get much better than this marketplace. However, moving forward, be extraordinarily careful, okay, of some really vicious moves coming. One of the things that very much stands out to me is that products like the XLF have been continually displaying okay, heavy amounts of volatility, okay, which is indicative of, again, the entire market making some very drastic moves. It's not just the XLF. Volatility through and through has remained and poised a bit higher. It would not surprise me once again to see the VIX take back off even into the mid-30 handles Okay, in some of the trade to come. Stay tuned for that. I want to thank everybody for joining us here at Theo Trade and the Theo Night video. Have a wonderful evening. Bye bye.